All right, in this video, we will talk about relative rates. Uh, the particular example we're going to consider is a spherical snowball is melting in such a way that its radius r is decreasing at a rate of 0 0.5 centimeter per minute. At what rate is its volume decreasing when the radius is 15 centimeters? Okay, so in related rates, we have two or more quantities that change per time. And in this particular case, what we have is we have a spherical snowball where you would expect if it is hot, it will reduce its volume because its radius is decreasing. And the volume is a function of the, the radius. Um, so we are given that the dr dt is 0 0.5 centimeter per minute. Okay, and the radius R is 15 centimeters. This is R. The unknown, or we call it the required, is volume dV to dt. The rate of the volume uh, to per time. The dv dt is the missing, so this is unknown. Okay, so in related rates, when we when we give a question like this, what we do is we have to identify what is what are the given quantities, and we have to also identify what is the required or the unknown, and then of course figure out a formula that relates the quantities. In this case, the quantity that uh, that is required is dv dt of course so we also know that volume of a sphere is v equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed this is something we should memorize of course in calc 2 you can even uh, derive uh, the formula um, differentiate both sides in terms of t so therefore i have d dt of v on the left side, the d dt of 4 over 3 pi or pi r cubed on the right side. Well, this is going to be dv dt on the left side, of course. dv to dt. This will be giving me, when I differentiate, uh, because of power rule, it's going to be 3 times 4 over 3 pi r squared. So remember the power rule says the exponent becomes coefficient and the exponent is reduced by one. But one thing you should never forget is this will have a dr dt because there is r, it changes per time, so dr dt. Reduce this to guys, giving me one over one. So therefore I have dv to dt, or dv dt in short, is going to be four times pi r squared dr to dt. Well, notice that on the right-hand side, all of the quantities are given. r is given, dr dt is given, so all it remains is substitute. So therefore, by substitution, I have dv to dt, or dv dt, equals 4 pi r is 15 centimeters. Of course, say square, so square it dr dt is 0 0.5 centimeter per minute, okay? So therefore, we have dv dt equals 15 square is 225, 4 times 0.5, or 4 times half is 2, so that's 2 times 2 to 5 is 450, then you can leave the pi as it is, centimeter squared times centimeter is cubic centimeter or centimeter cube per minute. That would be your dv dt. You can leave the answer as it is, but if sometimes the question says round is the nearest, ten is the nearest, hundred, whatever, um, you have to basically uh, punch the 450 times pi in your calculator and then 
uh, roundly. Notice that since the question says value is decreasing, your answer should be left as a positive value. That's very important. It's positive value. All right. So I hope this is uh, helpful. And if you have any question or any comment, put it on the comment section. And uh, I will uh, also get some more maybe in the upcoming uh, sessions. All right.